Hey there, all you 3D printers. This is the Stampede uh, Revolver. It's off of Thingverse, and we are about to get into this video and show you how to assemble it today. So in the following video that you're about to watch, I'm going over all the parts of this revolver. I have the exact title. I'm going to put it on the Thingverse video itself and also on my YouTube channel and putting a whole bunch of tags underneath of it just to make sure you guys can find it and I hope you didn't have no trouble finding it and I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so basically the first part you're going to get, you're going to get this handle piece, but it's going to have this separate and the trigger separate. You're going to have two little pegs you have to print out for both of them. I think they're, I believe they're both like different sizes. The trigger one will be the smallest and the, uh, I'm going to call it the Hancock right now because I can't think of the name, uh, will be the biggest. Excuse me. Um, the handle to put this on to here. Now you're probably wondering why is it taped? Well, they don't have a good. They have it just as a clip-in system. Well, if you just move it around or even move it over, it breaks constantly. So you have to print out a new one of these and a new one of these constantly. So this is my like third or fourth time printing this out. Uh, I have glued it down with Gorilla Glue. I have done the epoxy. I've done the resin. No matter what, it always breaks, so I'm hoping eventually one day they fix this. Uh, they might have by now. I haven't been on Thingverse for about nine months now. Um, I have to get a new PC to start 3D printing again, so bear with me. Um, so this is how you want to get it assembled. Make sure you have your trigger on. Make sure you have this piece on. As you can see here, you see the one pin, and you can see the other pin inside the trigger. Okay. Now, with the Remix version... They have these two parts broken in half. Um, as you can see right here is this line. This is Gorilla Glue. This has never fallen off or broken yet. So I've been really blessed by that. Uh, I've seen it down real smooth because I was going to paint it one year oh, just all black. Um, you're probably wondering why there's a screw in it. I'll get to that in a second. But you get this little black piece. You might have to sand this down a little bit here to fit inside to the hole. Unless you have your printer set up to a nice print size or a real high quality um, print. Okay. So basically, these two parts are going to go together like this. One gets inserted into there. You're going to have a thick pin you're going to have to print to go through here. Now, yes, I did sand this one down, but to a certain extent. Um, very different on how it is. Now it should pop in there pretty easily. Like me, I've taken it apart a few times, but not a lot. So it's very complicated. Uh, the print came out very nice for me. As you can see, the quality of it is pretty well and nice. Now you clip it like that. But we forgot one piece. The revolver. The revolver gets to print all one piece. I think you, I believe they have bullets for it, but. I was not going to put bullets into it because, you know, that's a waste of my time. I can get actual bullet shells from a shooting range and put them in here. Depending on whether they're rifle or pistol or whatever. Now make sure when you're putting this thing together, make sure the revolver is going the right way, which is all the lines going straight down, not to the back. You clip this on. Now, why the screw is in here is because I do not have magnets. In the build itself, it says you might need to use magnets. So I was like, well, you know, I'm not, I'm mechanically inclined, so I don't need magnets. So, and plus it's just for show because it's a really cool item to show off any anytime you're uh, bored or you have friends over or anything. It's a really nice show off piece because you can be sitting there and go, what's up? What's up? Yeah, the front of it's a little weird. I do understand that, but that is how you assemble it, guys, and then in detail, this guy is really detailed, so if you look down the barrel, which I hope you guys can see it, it sort of has a spiral, it goes into a spiral, well, as gun should, so that is the real awesome part about this gun, um, they do make a holster for it now, I forgot to tell you guys that, but a regular, um, 357 hand holster works as well. Sorry, I had my foot hurts. So um, 
yeah, you. Uh, it's basically a pretty interesting build. I've I've had a lot of enjoyment doing it. And now on my printer, this only took about I would say three hours for each part. So this was like wasn't three hours. It was like two. This was two hours for this part. This part was like fifty minutes. This part was like another ten. So it wasn't it wasn't bad at all. I just forget how this part was printed. It's the only thing I forget is how they printed this part. I believe I had set up like that to where it just printed up it up like that. Where it was print from here and up. Because on the 3D printer there's only so many things that it can very much do. But it's all interesting how they do it. Uh, the dimensions and all that stuff is pretty cool. Like me, I made grommets for a uh, little go-kart that I was helping my buddy out with a few years ago. I wish I still had videos of it, but to this day, them grommets have still held up. So it's pretty amazing. Um, so that's how you put the gun together. And that's just my little thing. If you guys do this, melt it together, burn it together. Or if you have that 3D printing, um, the uh, pen, 3D pen, uh, you could probably do it to that together. I was going to cut lines in it eventually and get one of the pens and just like a um like a like a welding stamp how it welds the two car panels together. I was going to do one of those in here but you know I never got around to it and plus it's not it's not a ma major part in my life. I'm hoping to make it a major part eventually. Um eventually I will be selling all my products that I made. I do not claim anything as my own, but that is just all. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like and a subscribe, and come back here for more help if you ever need any. And if you guys have any personal questions of how to put something together, please leave a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Have a wonderful and beautiful day.